What's up guys? Welcome to another and final tutorial of 2016. I wasn't gonna do any more tutorial this year as I figured hey it's a new year you know why not I'm gonna throw one more tutorial. Anyways um, went with the family today to, to the mountain and there were remaining of snow a little bit so nothing fancy you know I, I grabbed my camera and I decided to shoot some footage for you guys. So I've shot some stuff, you know, nothing, nothing really fancy, basic. I've shot it on Blackmagic uh, pocket camera. And basically, after this tutorial, I'm actually going to provide you a link to download this raw footage. I'm going to include complete clip so you guys can, you know, repeat the tutorial, practice, and basically pretty much do whatever you guys want. Um, as usual, this tutorial absolutely unscripted. I have no idea what I'm going to do right now. I'm just gonna go with the flow and we'll see what's gonna turn out from there okay so let's start and the first thing we're gonna do we're gonna go to the project clip and I don't know how much you guys work in the DaVinci Resolve but recently all Blackmagic raw cameras automatically go actually into log before you had to turn Rec 709 to log manually but now whenever you import the footage from Blackmagic cameras they're pretty much already come in the log. So it's all been shot native. There's no um, no ND pollution, no stuff like that. I've shot it with Sigma 18 to 35 lens. And it's pretty straightforward shot, you know, nothing fancy. So I'm going to try to give it uh, some interesting look right now, depending on how we're going to feel. And we're going to go from there, okay? So because it's black magic camera uh, those cameras have a little issue in the noise especially in the shadows so if I'm gonna zoom in and again I don't know if you guys can see the compression but you can see actual chroma noise so in my first note as in many of my other tutorials I'm actually gonna do noise reduction so in the noise reduction I'm gonna do Luma 2 chroma 10 and we can see before and after let me zoom in more so you guys can see very very big difference okay it's gonna help us down the line more dramatically next node well because it's not a happy shot really it's you know sort of a snow falling and it's kind of raining i not i'm gonna do a little bit of color but i'm not gonna give it too much color so I'm gonna call this saturation okay and I'm gonna do saturation individually per channel just like this so let's check it out before and after that looks pretty decent and if we're gonna go to the vector scope we can st still barely see um, what's really the, the saturation over here okay so we have pretty much a basic startup what next well next I kind of want to repeat what I've done in my previous tutorial and I want to do add splitter combiner node basically what it does and I'm gonna change the labels for you it splits to R G and B okay that way we can basically adjust things individually okay and if you click on each channel you can see the difference in every channel okay so in red let's do a curve and basically what I'm gonna do which is probably very inaccurate way of approaching this but I'm just gonna play straight with the curve and I'm gonna see per each channel what I really like so I'm just gonna go up and down and I can see like this I really like red channel to be like that so next one is green for the green let's see for the green probably something something like this okay and for the blue let's see for the blue for the blue let's do bright all right and we have this kind of crazy image so basically what I've done is equivalent of pretty much doing the same like on the color bars just adjusting different uh, slider 
and this is not necessarily so much as a part of the color grading but I just wanted you guys to see the alternatives of how to approach different things and if we're gonna go back and we're gonna uncheck this we can actually manipulate the result just by playing with the with a curve just like this okay so I just want you guys to see like that and this one like this okay so this is pretty much completely useless note but for the learning curve so let's see before and after well like that kind of looks pretty cool um, what I want to do I want to give it a little bit more evil a little bit more like scary feel so I probably gonna do a layer node and in the layer node I'm gonna go over here in channels new monochrome and over here I'm probably gonna dial it like this and I'm gonna use a soft light as the blending okay so it gave a little stronger contrast okay let's check it out before and after very nice now we pretty much have very accurate actual color balance so let's start introducing some look into it I'm gonna create a new node and all these because they really don't uh, necessarily important for the future grading I'm just gonna combine them just like that okay so let's start building a look well I want to make this area over here a little bit brighter okay so I'm gonna go in the custom curves and I'm gonna select this just like that very sloppy very quick just like this okay oops see I wasn't paying attention and I was selecting it in the wrong node okay just like that again okay just like this and introduce a little bit of light and don't forget to soften it a little bit especially on the inside that way the selection look very natural okay so I'm gonna call this grass uh, let's track it down I like that it's fine we're not doing anything really special in this tutorial so just basic just basic track like this should do it okay let's create a new node let's check it out again before and after okay so now I want to start introducing a film look so let me put film look and basically I'm gonna do it very quickly I'm gonna add film look uh, lot which is oops which is Rex 709 2383d55 and everything kind of looks whoa what's going on there and it, this lot acts very differently depending on the camera and especially with the black magic cameras if you just apply the slot footage kind of looks freaky uh, I really like how the slot reacts with red footage because in many cases you can just drop the slot and the, and the footage looks absolutely stunning but with the black magic you kind of need to do a little bit of extra work to sort of counter counterbalance this crazy effect like that let's see okay just like this is fine maybe okay let's check it out before and after okay we we can see that we start introducing a very interesting stylized look let's do before and after okay very nice now we're getting there and this one I'm gonna call lot and we're basically never gonna mess with this and this one instead of film look I'm just gonna put film look curve okay and now let me move all those things around the way it's not too crazy complicated Okay, I'm gonna create a new node we can start pretty much figuring out what we're gonna do so I kind of want to give 
idea that there is more fog in the shot than what it looks and I'm gonna call this one fog and it's actually very I guess cheap but interesting technique if you're gonna create a gradient and let's place this thing somewhere over here and basically if you're gonna dial the contrast back just like this it kind of looks like this background is foggy if we can see before and after it's definitely a huge difference and in many cases unless the the viewer is a professional filmmaker even a professional filmmaker not everybody gonna say oh you know you did this with a with a contrast so keep that technique in mind it works pretty well and it's kind of cool now let's do a new node and we're gonna call this one sky I want to introduce a little bit of the whiteness back so I'm gonna go here in the Luma okay just like that okay just like this and I'm only gonna be working right over here nothing fancy very straightforward just like that okay and obviously we're gonna do some softening just like this okay and for this add a slightly more wide back just like that so let's check our shot before and after and we can see how we pretty much turn a really boring regular shot into something interesting you know it could be a shot from for example Game of Thrones you know so I'm gonna do with the with the sky the same thing I'm gonna track it back just a little bit we don't need to be too clever in our tutorial and then I probably gonna do a last node and I'm gonna call this look finally so look and in this look I'm just gonna introduce a little bit of blue in the shot so I'm gonna play around with the with the gamma over here and just slightly like this very very little bit okay now let's check it out before and after and we can see it sort of gave a little bit of tint I guess a little bit different variety of color and finally in order to blend everything together I'm gonna do my final note and in this final note I'm gonna drop film convert I'm gonna turn off the color and I'm just basically gonna be using film convert for its grain which I absolutely love okay and it's not paid advertisement so let's check it out let's zoom in and let's check it out before and after and as I zoom in I actually see a problem okay our problem is that the sky chopped off a lot of trees so I have to go back in the skies right over here and introduce some nice soft feather just like that okay and we fix the problem always remember never be in a rush when you are dialing the look because sometimes you make kind of silly mistakes and you don't really know until you know you deliver and it's really not gonna look good in you for example if you if you deliver a picture with the chopped off trees you know so keep that in mind alright let's go back and finally I wanna see what we've done before and after and let's play this thing back and that looks really really good I have some snow over here on my lens okay so that is fine I'm gonna select grab still and let's see how well I can apply the same still for example to a different shot for example like this I have my brother walking over here and if I'm just gonna apply that looks really really cool look at that 
let's check it out this shot before and after obviously we have um, a fog issue over here but just so you guys know I've been asked uh, a lot of questions about how would you blend in between shots and all that for example when you copy grade like that we can obviously see the problem that fog over here doesn't really work out because it cuts off his hat but what we can do if we're gonna go back in the fog and if we can do the same thing with the Luma just dial it back kind of like that so basically we're creating sort of a mask over it okay make sure you soften it okay and in many cases you can kind of get away with a little bit of spill you know again it's it depends so you always have to kind of be careful where exactly this technique is is applied but as you can see the fog actually works in this particular case and now we have this shot ready to go and it looks really really cinematic and i'm going to include both of those clips for you guys download original raw it's going to be on my website you can see my website below it's going to be in the blog section and i want to say thank you very much guys for watching my videos happy new year be safe don't drink and drive and i'm gonna see you new year thank you for watching subscribe take care